Hi guys, morning. I'm trying something different with this. Uh, morning guys, I'm trying something different today. And this is day two of my 100 days to wellbeing. And I'm out for my morning walk with Maxi. So I'm just thinking, can I show? Here he is. Oh, do it away. Sorry, don't think you needed to see. But I am walking in the most beautiful Turton Tower grounds which is by the by my house and uh, it's at times during lockdown and you're allowed one walk a day and this is the most beautiful walk and I absolutely love doing this every day and I think this is the point where I've finally been able to properly make time for a walk is just brilliant and um I am so enjoying learning about well-being properly and going back to the roots of what I... Sorry, that's my phone case. Um, what I did to start off with. Come on, Maxie. So as you can see, this is a lovely place to walk. So day two of 100 Day to Wellbeing is focusing on another survey. And I'm sorry yesterday, some of you couldn't open the... Um, uh, oh, morning, guys. <laughs> Have my team on, thank you. <laughs> um, and I'm sorry some of you could open the survey yesterday, and that's because clearly Yale University don't want me sending it everywhere. <laughs> so um, I've actually sent you the link to the course yesterday, and I've put it in the notes. But today, I'm about to get my arm yanked off by a very crazy puppy who's gone. I'm in the wood, in the middle of surrounded by squirrels, and he's going absolutely bonkers. So if my phone is going all over the place, I'm sorry, I just thought I'd try varying my Facebook lives for once. So the Authentic Happiness Survey, based on 24 questions, and you do this online survey, and I'll send you the link. This one I've checked and it, it will work. I'm gonna put the, the link in the comments after this show when I return from a walk. And it's based about, um, it's got 24 questions, around sort of happiness and satisfaction with life and things like that. God, my arm radio has gone off. And, uh, and some of you may be going, why is, what's important about these flipping surveys? Well, the point is, I want to get an idea of kind of how you're feeling, how, how I'm feeling about all this. And then at the end, 100 days later, has it made a big difference to you? And I am absolutely remaining convinced that it will. In fact, I know it will, <laughs> um, and that's a strong statement to make, but everything I am reading, and I'm going to be sharing with you over 100 days, will change your outlook on life. And I mean, it's all about having an outlook like this today. You could all just be going, I'm on lockdown, and what am I going to do? But I'm doing courses, proving my education. I don't need to do a wellbeing course. I've done over 120 courses in my life. I don't need to do any more but I absolutely love learning and constantly, continuously improving. And I think this is a brilliant opportunity to just do that. And so point, uh, part of the course is about, you could look at this in, you could look at it as, oh my God, doom and gloom. I'm in lockdown, this is horrendous. Or you could look at it as, oh my goodness, for the first time in my life, I have got the time to be able to finally sort my health and well-being out. And I'm going to make out the most of every single day that I'm in this situation. Sorry, I was going through a gate. Um, until I kind of get through this. So that's my theory in it all. So I will post um, the survey in the comments. Um, and I'll just, while I'm walking along here, I'll show you Turton Tower if none of you have ever seen this. Because if any of you are coming for weddings and you fancy a little bit of a day out or just to get away from the farm and explore the local area, then this is an absolutely gorgeous place to come. And over there is the old railway road and they've got like an old barn, but you can just see Turton Tower coming up here. And, and this is literally, I mean, I'm so lucky to have this around the corner of my house. So I've not driven anywhere, just like to reassure you all. Um, <laughs> and, um, I'm trying to squeeze, I've got to work quickly because I'm on a flipping Zoom call at half past ten, so I've now got to get back from where, <laughs> from where I am and I can't have the Zoom call with the dog. Um, but there's the dog. 
Maxi. Come on, come on. Yeah, so this is Turton Tower. There we are, that's like a bit of local history. I'm just gonna, that's the beautiful tower there. It's actually obviously all locked. Um, and then you continue around here. And if any of you are into gardening during this time, you know, the weather may return, may get a bit better. There is a fantastic, if you're local, that is, I'm not encouraging any of you to drive here, but if you are local and you want to get yourself inspired, outright, oh, right, he's gone crazy chasing a, uh, um, a squirrel. <laughs> so I'm trying to carry headphones, a squirrel, I've given up on the selfie stick. It kept dropping my phone out of it, so it's on that. Sorry if I'm shaky, but I have to just carry on. And um, there is this amazing kitchen garden. So if any of you are, are local to the area and want somewhere else and somewhere different to go and explore, then this is absolutely brilliant. And this kitchen garden is just incredible. Um, they've done all this. And years ago when I used to come here, it was like just a piece of waste ground. And they've made it so beautiful. I'm just going to show you. It's just over here, so you don't have to bear with me too long for this. As you can see, it's all unfortunately closed, like many places, like everything. That's the house. I've got a good look here. I'll put it I'm going to peep through the gates. There we are. How lovely is that? Again, you don't ever appreciate these things. I don't think I've been in. For years and years. And then when you're suddenly in lockdown, you want to kind of go in all these places. Apparently it's a ghost at the window, but I'm not going to stand here all day and see if it comes out. There you go. Um, and then, oh God, Maxie, stop it. Right, there you go. Then over there, that's what I was meaning about the kitchen garden. There was somebody there. Right, I won't go in there because they might get a bit offensive about me uh, viewing, about me doing a live from the garden. <laughs> but there you are, and, that's, and this is lovely. And that's like a little cafe area in there. So again, normally if it had been a nice day, could have sat out there. Unfortunately, the cafe's closed because it's owned by the council, but obviously all cafes are closed. But again, that's nice to sit there and go. And they've got this ace children's play area over there. That's the kitchen garden. You see, they're all cracking on. They're not letting lockdown get the better of them. In there, all over there is the garden. And then I've got to go through one of these weird gates with a dog and some headphones and a selfie stick. Um, and, uh, and then here I am back. So it's kind of like a big loop. So I've gone right round over there, right round, round the tower, round back again. Um, so there you go. So I reckon each day I'm going out and about. Obviously, I, I am lucky. I appreciate that because I've got on one walk a reservoir. The other, oh, get back here! Right, he's full on going for the full on going for the squirrel. Look at this way. <laughs> um, uh, and um, oh, it's there. Can you see? Oh, look, it's on the top of the thing. I wonder if I can zoom in. Else, can you see its tail? Oh, there we are. Ah. Oh. There you go, squirrels on this live this morning. Forget llamas, alpacas. Oh, there's another one. I'm just hoping that my dog doesn't eat a squirrel in, on live thing and then I'll be done for animal cruelty. There you go. Oh, flip it. Now you have to go, no. Oh God, he's got stuck around a tree. Right, right go round, go, go round, no. That's it, come on, come on. I've got him on this five metre lead. It's like, I can't let him off. Unfortunately, when I got him, um, I put him, um, I trained him when he, when he, when he arrived, I got Maxie and he was really cute and he, he actually won a dog show and all sorts, but, um, I got the dog and, um, I, he spent time running around the, you know, just running around the farm and he got in with my, uh, Stephen's father, David, trained sheep dogs. He started thinking he was a sheepdog because he spent so much time with the sheepdogs. And so obviously he didn't realise that sheepdogs are there to do a job. He just thought that all you do is chase sheep. 
So obviously with us having the farm and the sheep on the farm are obviously used for lambing and all the rest of it. Um, I can't now, it's so sad, but I can't let him off the lead. Um, and so because he just automatically dies for sheep, just desperate to go to sheep. And he'll hunt sheep out, who's a terrier, so he's a brilliant nose, and he'll just go for sheep wherever he can. So unfortunately, that's why I can't let him off. Um, but we made we made him I bought this like massive massive lead but the only problem is he dashes everywhere and he end up getting this lead twisted everywhere I go so it's a bit of a nightmare but there you go so I'm traveling on so there you go so today task if you're doing a well-being challenge or initiative whatever you want to call it is to go and do the happiness survey it takes about five minutes and that's all you have to do and then obviously I'm doing a walk or a run. I did my run yesterday. I'm not walking. There's no way I'm doing a run live. I must be joking. And uh, <laughs> and um, I'm going to, and I've done a 15 minute meditation. There you go. So that's it. So I'm, I'm finishing now because you've nearly seen me through Turton Tower. Got a bit more way to go, but it's not as interesting. Oh, I'll tell you what is good. Let me see if I can find them around here. They've got these wild horses. And I have no idea where they've ever come from or who looks after them. Um, but they're like Shetland. They're like um, Shetland ponies or something like this. Um, and these are lovely. Let's see if I can find these. I'm bringing your bit of nature live. I should call it nature live. Never mind Facebook live. Um, so they're just in this field. So you'd have to bear... Don't feel like you have to follow me down this path, but I, for anyone who's just tuned in, you never know. And I get to the end of this, I can't find them. They're in this field, they're in that massive field. Anyway, it's still a nice walk. I hope, hope you all feel like you're walking along with me. Oh, what the heck has got lost now? Look, at this. this is the thing. Maxi, come on. Oh, flipping it. How am I going to get him out of here now? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Right, I'm going <laughs> Maxie, come here. Where are you? Flipping it. Maxie, come. That, that's my point. Now I've got so much lead and kind of don't know. <laughs> it's not rolling. It. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That wasn't me, it was the rolling of the lead. <laughs> oh, here we are. Here's the sign for what these ponies are. They are native fell ponies engaged in conservation grazing of a biological heritage site there you go oh actually it's a website yeah if anybody wants to know where they are it'd just be nice to probably see a native fell pony now wouldn't it oh there's one right i've got one over here so that oh oh it's oh, i'm gonna have to get in here things I'm doing for this Facebook live, my goodness. Can you see? Oh God. I'll try and zoom in. Oh, I'm going to have to get a better shot. Oh, here we are. that's all right. They look quite content. I'm sorry, but the dog keeps pulling me. There we are. So that is your native that's your native fell pony. I'm gonna get, <laughs> I'm gonna get caught for lurking in the bushes with a phone. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get all sorts of comments on this. Right. Oh my goodness, it's come up. Going <laughs> meeting starting soon. I'm flipping. I come in the middle of a thing. Oh, isn't? Oh, here's the. Oh, here's another one. Oh, God, why didn't I just wait? There's a gate here. Right. This would have been far easier. There you are. So can you see, in all fairness, there's a pony over there. Just, just, oh, you can't see. And there's a pony there. And they have, you must admit, native and conservation grazing. They have the most lovely lifestyle. Look at them. Got all the land. Got like absolute acres and acres and acres all around. So there you are. That's it. So country live. It's finished for today. So I hope you all stay safe. Look after yourselves. Keep washing your hands, etc., etc. And I'll be on tomorrow for a third survey. Okay, take care. Bye. <laughs>